This video is going to walk you through the basic setup of the W3 Total Cash plugin. Now I say basic setup because there's a bunch of various settings you can tweak in order to get an even faster and more efficient loading WordPress site. But even with just the basics that we're going to be covering, there's a huge speed increase of your site's load time. Let me go ahead and show you first off by running a test of our site. If you come over here to our site, and I'm going to go ahead and just copy the URL in my clipboard. Come on over here to gtmetrics.com. And this site does a test of two different programs. One program from Google called PageSpeed. Another program from the developers at Yahoo called YSlow. Let's go ahead and paste our URL in here. Click on Go. And depending upon the size of your site, the amount of plugins and all that kind of stuff will depend on how long this is going to take. But this being a dummy site, it's not going to take long at all. There we are. Not very impressive numbers. But that's about to change. Now, we're going to go ahead and install, activate, and configure just the basics of our W3 Total Cash plugin. Come back here and click on the retest page link, and hopefully these numbers will change. Spoiler alert, it will. So let's come on back over here to our dashboard area. Go to Plugins. Go to Add New. And by the way, before you do any major changes like adding a plugin that you're not familiar with or even deleting a plugin you're not familiar with, you should always be on the safe side and do a full site backup. That being a backup of your files, images, the whole nine yards, and your database. So let's go ahead and pretend for a second that we've already done that. Now we go ahead and type in here, make sure we're in the search section, type in here W3 Total Cash, click on Search Plugins, and it'll probably be the very first one on the list. Right here we are. You want to see more about it, you can click on Details. And by the way, if through the process of your installation and configuring, you run into roadblocks, right here on the WordPress.org site under Plugins, W3 Total Cash, you can come on down here, and there's tons of information under the FAQ, Other Notes, Change Log, Stats, and right here under Support, you might even find that somebody else has the same question that you have. So just come on in here, spend some time, check these out if you find the need to. Hopefully this video will cover all your questions. But let's go ahead and install. Click on OK. And once it's installed, we want to activate. And once it's activated, you might even get an error message up here. Just go ahead and go through the process of answering that question or removing that error message. But you're going to see down here a new link in your sidebar called Performance. Now over here, there's a few items we're not going to mess with, and that is the user agent groups, referrer groups, they basically deal with configuring your mobile sites, CDN, that's content delivery network, monitoring extensions. These are just beyond the scope of the basics that this video is going to cover. But here you have the FAQ, the support, basically the same stuff that I just showed you over here on the WordPress.org site is right here on your site right now. Oh yeah, and if we go to FAQ, come up here to help, you find even more information. So what we're going to do first off is take a peek at the general settings page just so that you know you're not going to mess with any of this stuff right now. This first one here allows you to enable the preview mode so you can kind of kick the tires over your settings before you actually go live. And that way if you find that something's not working or something's broken, then you can go back and tweak the installation or tweak the configuration until it is working through the preview mode. Then you can deploy it and then disable the preview mode, boom, you're live. But at this point, we're going to leave all this stuff alone. We're going to go into each one of these pages configuration section, which is over here on the left sidebar, for page cache, for Minify, and for the database cache, object cache, and browser cache. We're going to go into the sections over here to configure each one of these sections. Then we'll come back here and click on the Enable button. So page cache first. Most all of these I'm going to check, except for this guy, the Cache 404. Those two I'm not going to check. And if you have a members plugin, like S2 member or something else, and you've got other levels or roles installed on this particular site, they're going to be defined out here as well. And if you do not want to cache pages for any of those roles, then you check that box and check the appropriate boxes of those you don't want to cache. This cache preload comes in pretty handy if you have a sitemap, which I do not, but you should. But this is a dummy test site, so I don't have a sitemap installed. But this allows your visitor's first time visit to your site to be a little bit quicker if you have these items checked and the sitemap URL installed here. Purge policy, 
the defaults are fine, advanced is fine, and save all settings. Any changes you make, make sure that you click on save all settings. So that's the page cache. Let's go to Minify. And if I'm going a little bit fast here, well, just pause the video, rewind, just absorb it as much as you can. Because I can, in fact, spend 30 minutes going over all these details, but I'm trying not to. So rewrite URL structure. Leave that checked. HTML, check the top line. JS Minify, make sure that's checked. Make sure CSS Minify is checked. The advanced section is fine by default. Click on Save All Settings. Database and Object Cache, there's really nothing here, but I just want to show you that you can go in here and configure this further if you'd like. If you do make any changes, click on Save All Settings. Likewise with Object Cache, there's even less to change, but if you do make any changes, Save All Settings. Browser Cache, the last one we're going to work with. I go in here and check all these boxes, except the one for 404, this one here. So I check all those boxes, and then the rest of these are checked by default. Just to make sure they are all checked, click on Save All Settings. Now that we've got all those items configured, we now come back to the General Settings page and enable them. Enable. Disk Enhanced is fine. Unless you find there's an issue, then you come in here and you can go with Basic. If you have a dedicated or virtual server or multiple servers, then you might find one of these being a better choice. But on most cases, we're dealing with shared servers. Disk Enhance is going to work best for you. Minify, make sure that's checked. And Auto is checked. Unless, of course, there's an issue, then you can come back in here and specify which items should be minified by going to Manual. Database Cache enabled. Object Cache enabled. Browser Cache is enabled by default. Now the CDN goes beyond the basics of this video, but this will definitely make your site load that much faster. So if you have the opportunity to work with the CDN, be it Max CDN, which is one of the better ones in my opinion, or even something like your self-hosted FTP, use it. If, if so, then check Enabled. Varnish, I've never messed with that. And Cloudflare is a pretty cool tool as well. They've got a free option, works great in security and making your site that much faster. But this goes beyond the basic section of this video. But if you did have Cloudflare set up, click on Enable. And Relic, never mess with that, but you have the option there. And if you want the page speed widget on your dashboard, grab the API key, slap it in there. I don't, so I'm not. Debug, you've got that option here. And if you wanted to save these settings, once you find that everything's working properly, and you want to add these same exact settings to other sites, you can do that here by downloading them. And then on your other sites, just install the W3 Total Cast plugin, upload the file, you're good to go. And if you want to clear everything out, go from scratch, just click on this button right here, and it won't uninstall W3 Total Cache, but it will bring it back to as if you just installed it. Click on Save All Settings. Okay, I think that's dealing with our permalinks. I thought I had that taken care of, but let's come on over to Settings here. Go to Permalinks. I thought I had that, but let's go ahead, make sure we got Custom Structure in there. Click on Save Changes. Let's go back into our Performance General Settings and see if that red notice is gone. Okay, we're good. Click on Empty Page Cache. And again, if you wanted to kick the tires first and you can click on enable that enables the preview mode then once you've checked everything out you can click on deploy as it says up here it ain't going to work until you disable the preview mode now then let's go retest How's that for an improvement? And that is how easy it is to install, activate, and configure the basics of the W3 Total Cash plugin. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.